everyone today we will be learning the concept of final keyword in java so a final keyword can be used along with a class it can be used along with a method or it can be used along with a variable so let's see one by one what will happen if you use final keyword so final keyword with a class if you make any class as final that class cannot be inherited so suppose if i have my class as parent class suppose if i am defining this class class parent and i have suppose one single method in it void m1 bracket open bracket close and i have written something here and i am closing this class so suppose now i have one more class class child and i am writing extends parent means my child class is extending parent class here in general i don't have this class is final so at this point of time child class will get, uh, child class will inherit all the properties of parent class all the members except private data so here my void m1 is default so that will get inherited fine but suppose if i make this class as final now my parent class becomes final class so here i will get an error that my parent class is final class so it cannot get inherited similarly now consider for method if you define any method as final that method cannot be overridden let it be very clear it cannot be overridden but it will get inherited for sure now suppose if i have this my class parent class is normal class it's not final and i have this method in it suppose void m1 and uh, i am performing one simple uh, functionality in it, inside it sop in parent class suppose that's the uh, functionality of my m1 method inside parent fine now suppose if i'm writing class child extends parent and i am opening this and closing this now at this point of time my child class inherited all the properties of parent all the members that are there inside parent will get inherited except private data so like here i uh, there is nothing so this m1 methods access specifier or modifier is what default so that will get inherited in child and suppose if i am creating the object of child class and i am calling suppose uh, i am creating one single uh, variable reference variable of type child child c is equal to new child if i am writing this and i am writing c dot m1 so at this point of time in parent class will get printed but suppose i if i make this as final if i make this as final and again if i run this if i run this program child c is equal to new child c dot m1 it will get printed this method will be get called and in parent class will get printed because i have inherited that method but i haven't make any changes in it but now suppose if i make changes into it into my child class i am overriding that method my final uh, m1 method now now suppose if i am writing final void m1 sop in child class now what i have done here i have changed the functionality of my m1 m1 method so at this point of time now suppose if i am creating the object of this class i will get an error the error will say this final uh, m1 method in parent is final it cannot be overridden so if you define any method as final it will get inherited but you cannot modify it you cannot override that method lastly with a variable now suppose if i have a simple class here and that i am writing public static void main along with the string arg where bracket open now suppose if i have this single variable int i equal to 10 now at any point of time this variable which is not final i can modify its value i equal to i plus suppose i am writing 20 so at this point the value of i will be changed the value new value of i will be now 30 10 plus 20 that will be what 30 now suppose if i make 
this variable is final. Now my i variable is final, I can't modify its value. So at this point, I will get an error. It will say the variable i is final, it cannot be modified. So once the value is assigned to i, it cannot be modified. So